Russian Tu-22 M3 strategic bombers carried out massive airstrikes on ISIS terrorists in the Syrian province of Deir ez-Zor on November 25th and November 26th. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the strikes hit ISIS's manpower, vehicles, and command posts in the Euphrates Valley. The Syrian Arab Army SAA and Tiger forces continued clearing the western bank of the river from terrorists and liberated Gariba, Deblon, Vadi Fulaita, and Taltafran. On November 26, the Syrian Kurdish Hawar news agency Anha claimed that Turkish-backed militants have shot down three Russian helicopters over the northern Aleppo countryside. An official of the Kurdish People's Protection Unit's YPG told Anha that several Russian pilots and high-ranking officers were killed or injured in the supposed attack on the Russian helicopters. So far, Anha has provided no video or photo confirmation of its claims. The militant groups of Nur al-Din al-Zenki movement and Hayat al al-Sham, formerly Jabhat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, have not claimed that they downed any helicopters in the area. According to local sources, three Russian helicopters, a Mi ATM SH and two Ka 52, were really spotted in the area. Local militants opened fire on them with light weapons and machine guns. However, no helicopter was downed. An absence of the official commentary on the issue from the Russian Defense Ministry contributes to this version. In northern Hama, ISIS cells have seized the villages of Razm Sakaf, Musiva, Achana, Shayar Hamra, and Abu Ajwa from Hayat Akhir al Sham, HTS. The group expansion in the area came amid an intense fighting between the SAA and HTS in southern Aleppo and northern Hama. The Iraqi army and the Popular Mobilization Unit's PMU have liberated the area of 14,100 km square, including 175 villages, since the start of the anti-ISIS operation in the Al Jazeera region of Iraq. During their advance, government troops have destroyed 11 vehicles, 5 oil tankers, 18 car bombs, and 6 motorcycles of ISIS, as well as dismantled 1,000 IEDs planted by ISIS. The army and the PMU are now consolidating their gains, securing the recently liberated area, and resupplying their troops. As soon as this is done, they will continue their push to liberate the rest of the border area from ISIS.